everyone. Matt Kelpers here going over a quick video tutorial on how to use the LinkedIn app for your iPhone or for your iPad. So to start, we're just going to jump in and open the LinkedIn app. Hopefully you've got that already downloaded. So LinkedIn is a really, really easy app to use. It's very, very basic. It's going to give you access to essentially everything that you could have access to on the LinkedIn website, but obviously it's in a mobile platform, so it makes it pretty simple to pull out your iPhone from your pocket, or if you've got your iPad, just pull that out and open the app up. So first you can see right here, you're gonna have all your updates over here. Let's go ahead and just click on it and see kind of what's out there. This is really gonna be a lot more related to the news that's out there, maybe some new people who uh, you've connected with, who's viewing your profile, who's changing their position, and again, more news updates. So I'm gonna go back to the opening page. The next section is me, you know, hopefully my picture will pop up in there. Maybe the internet's a little bit slow, but you can see me right here. Awesome picture. Uh, so this is just going to be my profile. You can see again, who's viewing my profile, some people that I might know who I'm connected with already. Uh, you can slide this left and right. You can see my summary, which tells everything about what I do. It's got a link to our Mac Helper site, my personal blog, my personal website. Uh, kind of lists, lists everything that you're going to see on the LinkedIn website about your profile right here. You can see right here you're also going to have access to the Twitter tags, handles, and uh, the uh, websites that are out there. You can share an update just like on Facebook. If I wanted to write something, you know, doing a video tutorial, here's this, here's that, I could punch something in there, but don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to go back because there's not a whole lot other, whole lot else that we can do within our personal profile page. Uh, we can certainly edit it and we can add a, change the picture and do some stuff there. But for the most part, when we're in LinkedIn, we're really looking at doing our messages and checking our updates. Uh, so again, LinkedIn is a networking event online. So these are going to be the people I've got messages who they've sent me a message back uh, talking about stuff. Uh, some of the notifications that I've got right here, who's accepted my request to, to connect or who I'm now connected with. So you're going to see a lot of that right there. So once you're in the messages section, again, this is where I spend most of my time if I'm on LinkedIn. It's just connecting with people and staying in contact. You know, I can reply to the message right here. I can compose a new message right here, new message or a new invitation. I can reply from here as well, reply all, or I can forward this message to someone else. So very similar to email or I could trash this. I'm not gonna trash it right now though. So if I wanted to get rid of that sidebar of all the messages that I've got, this little button right up here is gonna do that and just gives me a little bit more, more room to work with. Um, so pretty simple there. I'm gonna go back over to the homepage again. So you can see there's not a whole lot to the LinkedIn app. Um, the last couple things we'll look at is how do we search for people? Just the search bar, pretty simple. You can search by your current contacts. You can type in uh, some other names here. You can type by location, by profession, and get a lot of different options that come up right there. So using that search feature is really nice. And then last, when we click the LinkedIn, this is just going to take us back to wherever we were uh, previously. Uh, so I was in the messages um, folder here. Uh, it's going to take me back to the messages, or it's going to take me back to this uh, kind of the home page here for LinkedIn. So that's really all there is to LinkedIn. It's not a, a, a super difficult app to work with, but uh, it gets the job done. So hopefully that answers your questions. If you've got any questions related to LinkedIn and the app, feel free to make a comment or get in touch with us and we can hopefully answer that for you. So other than that, signing off. Hopefully you have a great day.